Asian to be racist or anything, but Asian people. Da, da. Do we need men? I don't personally think so. I'm doing fine without them. Meanwhile, Emily clogged my boyfriend's toilet, so I put the took the poop out and put it in his cat's litter box. Then he asked if I pooped in it. And I said no, but he said his cat has been dead for a week. Please pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> do we need men? No. <laughs> Why? We can do things ourselves. Do we need men? I don't think so, not really. Studies have shown you don't actually need them. A few moments later. Yo, really? Like, seriously, this can't be my life, bro. Really? <laughs> can't put air oh, in a tire like this. No. Come it's on. not even going. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. He needs some milk. Oh, she needs a lot of milk. How is the last guy even a human? How can you do that after you've been pepper sprayed? Like, really? And regarding all those women saying they don't need a man, it's like, honey, look around you. Like, who built all of this? Who? The elves? Santa Claus? The women? No. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. But, you know, there's this trend now, especially in the West. Uh... Of saying like, yeah, men are this, men are that. And it's just social programming through movies and music and podcasts and whatever. Uh, I wish them all the best. Who cares? How many steroids you take, how many egg yolks you drink, how many push-ups you do. I'm being dead serious. I will beat your face in. Meanwhile. Okay, we got a good old-fashioned arm wrestling match right here. That man looking big as hell. The girl looking kind of strong too. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, she she holding her own. She holding her own. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna but break look at her, her exertion herself. compared to the man. He yeah. chilling. She doing all type of work, all type of gymnastics. She working voodoo magic. She 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 quenching like she taking a shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. she's struggling. Yeah. Oh, my man chilling, look at him. He's solid. He giving her a chance, he giving her a chance. I mean, obviously judging by their reactions, the guy on the right didn't even, I mean, the guy didn't even, <laughs> didn't even bother. Like he didn't even try that hard and he still won. I mean, I mean, it's obvious, but you know, it's just the propaganda. It's just the people that have no culture, no, sense of belonging so this is why they say all this dumb stuff you're fat and ratchet keep your That's mouth fine. closed I can be fat and ratchet. you're fat and ratchet Thank you need to you. practice not eating they all shouldn't right. even let you eat in here let me let me oh. bust you up <laughs> security right. oh security Ugh. security right i don't want to have to slap right. her yeah, look, security. Slap me. Security. Slap me. Look at her. I'm not so fat and ratchet. Security. Slap me. Please security. slap me. I don't want to have to slap her. Security. Slap me. She fat and mad. She fat and mad. She fat and mad. You see how good thing I'm swift down here. She fat and mad. You are fat and mad. Damn, she mad. Uh huh. Damn, she mad. She mad as hell. She mad as hell. God damn. God damn. Why you're 
against abortion and why you're against transgenderism is because you're a misogynist, okay? First of all, I'm not a misogynist because a misogynist is someone that puts down women. I exalt women to their rightful role. But see, women are supposed to be women, not men. And every time somebody says that a woman is equal to a man and does what a man could do, you're actually abusing and denigrating women. Women have a unique purpose and they're special. They're fearfully and wonderfully made by God. You're putting down women by saying women can be men. You're putting down women by saying transgenders can be women. No, they can never be women. Women are special and no man can just convert and say I'm a woman today. You're putting down women by saying that. Preach, brother! Preach! It is entirely unchristian to stand on a street corner spreading hate speech about trans people, about women, causing further violence against these people. You are an unchristian man. Wait a second. No, you're leaving. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you see, a true Christian will uh, support transgenderism just as Jesus himself supported transgenders and he surrounded with himself with the LGBT, HDTV, Panasonic people. Um, so, uh, educate yourself, losers. I don't really have a rebuttal for anything I'm saying. Oh, she's running for her life, running. The Bible says the wicked flee when no one pursues. Amen. see, and a lot of people think that I... That a blind person can't play football. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. All right. Thank Lord, you. have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Who brings more to the table in modern relationships, men or women? I think if it's the right relationship, it's equal. Oh, it's equal. Well, if we had to pick one, like in general, most men and most women. In what category? What subjects? In terms of what women like and what men like. But they bring things to the table differently. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think women, of course. I think women bring less. Good for you. Well, yeah. I, I appreciate The overwhelming majority of times, a relationship only happens when the guy excels or is above the woman. He's above the woman in height, in genetics, money, socially. Like, women don't look down. And they don't even really look across. They only look up. Yeah? So, by definition, if the relationship happened and she gave the consent for the relationship, the guy brings more. Otherwise, the relationship wouldn't exist. Duh. <laughs> What's happening today is a radical oh, really? form of a woman constantly, once again, the idea that we don't need men, that men are always and constantly, once again, the oppressed versus the oppressor. I have news for people that do identify themselves as feminists. Men are not dropped off by the stork. We are the people that have to carry men for nine months. They are our little boys, they are our sons, they are our husbands. This country needs women to find their voices and to fight for our men. Because what is happening right now is a cultural war on men. Why are there so many women today who say they don't need a man? I mean, because if, if they want to go 50-50 on things, I just don't need them. Because there's a lot of bum-ass men out in the world who don't do enough so us women can supply for ourselves now. She's actually right. She's actually right. I'm sorry. She, she's actually correct for a lot of it's a really decent percentage of just losers that pretty much just live for themselves and they want the world to somehow give them unlimited pussy and a good life that ain't happening honey you have to work for it because they're feminists and they like to be feminists. Tragedy in Tennessee making headlines this evening a 15 year old a popular high school football player risking his life to protect three young girls as gunshots rang out. He did not survive. In the emotional moment you're about to see, the police chief fighting back tears. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. Police say a group of teenagers had gathered on the front porch of this house when several gunmen approached. Male on the front porch, possible been shot. The police chief becoming emotional, describing how one of them dove to protect three friends. Zavion Dobson, a 15-year-old Fulton High School student and football player, was struck and killed after he had jumped on top of three girls to shield them. <laughs> At one point, the chief struggling to keep going. <clears throat> Sorry, to shield them from the shooters. Those others were not hit by the gunfire. Tonight, the Fulton High School team 
putting out this photo honoring their fallen teammate. This was a fine, fine young man who uh, is a success story. One of the alleged gunmen was shot and later died. Authorities say the string of three shootings overnight in Knoxville were apparently gang related, leaving one young man with a bright future dead. David killed trying to protect three friends. Why is uh, why are gangs still a thing in uh, in America? Like you, there's the police, the government, guns, lots of guns. Just execute them. That's it.